I started sharing videos because I wanted to share my mediumship journey with you. That was my main point. But then the ADHD stuff happened and I thought, why not share? I'm fairly transparent. And if my experience can help you in any way, that would be amazing. So I just want to clarify that um, this is uh, my last doctor's letter for a referral. And I just want to clarify the things that are highlighted and underlined are things that come with ADHD. So, you know, it would be nice if the doctor had worked it out earlier. But anyway, we've worked it out now. But, so lumbar back pain, for example, ADHD. Hearing loss, not, not that I, asthma, not. Hypothyroidism, not. That's a story for another day. My kids have that too. Cochlear implant, I've only had that since I was, a, um, well, I actually only got it in 2011, but I only started losing my hearing around 30. I have had trouble with acne and rosacea. I've had migraine trouble weekend before my period. I used to get a four-day migraine when I was drinking coffee, gave up coffee. Um, depression and anxiety, I've got them thanks to ADHD. Scoliosis, people with scoliosis, uh, sorry, people with ADHD have a more flexible body. They can do this sort of stuff. I don't know, lift your finger up. Um, and that means that the spine moves around a bit. So I have scoliosis thanks to that. I've had uh, B12 issues, that's something else. I've had lumps in my breast, something else. Fatty liver, that's meant to come with ADHD too. Interesting. Uterine fibroids, all good. Uh, cervical spondosis often an ADHD thing, a D thing because of that flexibility thing and the body moves around. Um, I've had IBS or have IBS. In actual fact, haven't had a flare up since I've been on an elimination diet for EOE. Um, lactose intolerant comes with IBS. I have eosinophilic, eosinophilic, that's it, esophagitis. Um, and I have fibromyalgia and I often have iron deficiencies. Now, fibromyalgia also could be an ADHD thing.